Joining us here at Post 9 this morning is Joanna Stern of the Wall Street Journal, personal technology columnist, wearing it right now. How do you look? How, How do, do I, I look? look? How do I look? <laughs> you look good. I look good. You look yes. like an alien. Yeah. You and see my eyes? Getting messed I up. do see your eyes, and you can see me. I can see you guys great. I mean, I'm also working right now and, and watching some, some YouTube, but no, I'm, re I'm really looking at both of you right now. What, what, do you, what apps do you have open and what, what are they? Well, as soon as I press that button, I see a view of a grid of apps. I can open Apple TV, music, mindfulness, should we all meditate together, Safari, <laughs> photos. And so I can just, as I, as I show, tap, and now one of them's open. That's is, it. Is this the way we're going to work? It is a way I think we can work. There are some drawbacks, but one of the things I was able to really do in this, this week in this is actually do some work. I mean, wrote my reviews, wrote my scripts, was able to slack and do all of those things. And that's one of the coolest things here is you can put these windows all in your environment. But of course, there's the drawback of how long you're gonna wear this for, right? You sit at your laptop all day, you literally all day. This weighs on your head all day. And so there is, there is an endurance question here how long how long how long have you worn it you know? I, my video review I challenged myself to wear it 24 hours full day full day I, I did take the break to sleep uh, I also took the break to go to the ski mountain in them because they look like ski goggles but I wore them pretty much consistently for some six to eight hour stretches and headaches no um headaches eye burning um a little bit of neck pain um but are they meant to wear 24 hours a day? Absolutely not. These yeah. are meant okay. to wear for a couple of hours at a time, if you can even go that long. I think really the, I, I, I really think a movie is a good stretch to wear these. But of course, if you're also laying down, that takes some of the pressure off your head. They show these while you're wearing them on an airplane. I couldn't test that yet. There's a special travel mode for that. So I do think you're going to see these out and about with people <laughs> traveling. Wild. But for $3,500, right, who, who's going to buy them and for what reason? As I said in my review, I think this is a Apple diehard product right now. These are for the diehards. They're for the app developers. It's for somebody who wants to see a peek at what this future looks like. You put these on, and that's why I wore these for the 24 hours. What are we going to do with these in our daily lives eventually? I mean, one of the coolest things I did with this was cooking it. Okay, I was able to set timers in my environment right over the pots, right to be able to see the, the recipe on the wall. Mm, that's cool. These are all future use cases when this thing is lighter, when the battery life is better, when it isn't so buggy, when the display is better. This is a first generation Apple product. Is that what you mean when you say, and I don't want to misquote you, but the idea that this is not what we want yet or they're messing with our heads? What does that mean? <laughs> Right now, these tech companies want to make sleek glasses. They want to make those, right? But they can't do that. These, this, is the, this is what they can do. This is the best Apple could do right now. And it's really good. It is the best headset out there. But there are compromises. And so until they can get the tech there, I think they're messing with their heads. Is it, um, is it concerning, for lack of a better word, that YouTube, Netflix say not yet? I think, look, you can still watch them in the web browser. If they see that more, a lot of people are watching this in the web browser on this thing, they're gonna make an app. They're gonna bring their iPad app over. Maybe they wanna work on a more immersive app and they just haven't gotten around to it. I, I think, you know, we, again, we're gonna see the apps come. It's the first platform, first generation. What do you here. think is the best use case so far that you've experienced for this? Look, I know it's not meant for cooking, but I, I was actually blown away. Just the idea of putting the virtual some of the virtual stuff from your phone in your real environment. Think about those times you're holding your phone. Cooking is the one I keep going to because you're poking at it with your dirty hands. You're setting the timer. You're coming back to it. I think also shooting video on this eventually. You want to be hands-free like Meta's doing with the Ray-Bans. That's not the use case right now. Right now, the best thing you can do with this is work and watch the movies.